Hi, welcome to our beer in review for 2020. We will be sampling the beers we brewed in 2020. Uh, get our opinions on it. We got seven different offerings today that we're going to be taking a look at. So uh, let's get started. Our first beer of 2020 was our IPA, which was formerly known as the Hockey Rabbit. I think we call it Steve's Brew now. So what's our style guidelines? Yeah. Like? So it's a crazy year with the pandemic, but we started out with the Hoppy Rabbit, which was Steve's. So it was American style IPA. So mm -hmm. according to BJCP, which is going to be what we're going to go off of for our tasting notes, the aroma should be prominent with an intense hop aroma, citrusy, floral, and perfume-like. Appearance is going to be a range from a mid-gold to a mid-reddish copper. Flavor, we're looking for uh, medium to high hop flavor should reflect an American IPA with citrusy, floral, piney, and fruity aspects. So medium to high on the hop intensity and bitterness. Mouth feels smooth, light to medium body. Overall impression here is going to be decently hoppy uh, with a little bit of bitterness. Moderately strong. Okay, so we ended up with a beer at 6.5% uh, ABV, 50 IBUs, and we ended up deciding upon Cascade, Columbus, and William Matt as our hop selections. So we fall within guidelines, so 40 to 50 IBU, 5.5 to 7.5 ABV. Okay, perfect. We're so right, 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 right. right. when he's on there. All right, Zach, you want to get cracked and get sure. us started? So this was our third iteration of the IPA? Yep, yeah, we did two others similar to this. This one's very similar to our last iteration, kind of repeatability wise, you know, just to kind of see what Josh, we get. Thank you. So I'm curious to see uh, what our feedback is. I'm thinking I know what, what a lot of our feedback is going to be based on um, our preference for some of the different IPAs, the American style IPAs. But uh, I'm curious to see kind of going back upon it. Because I know at the time we brewed it, we started tasting it. Uh, we had our first impressions, but I'm curious now at the end of the year, yeah. kind of what we're thinking here. This is a good comparison that we can do. So we'll put, up, put it up to the camera so we can kind of get an idea of the color. So it's got a little bit of that redness to it. Yeah. It's a little yeah, bit darker than I remember last year's being. It's got a little bit more red, red tint to it. Uh huh. It had a nice little head at the top, too. Yeah, not bad for... How long it's been sitting? Yeah. Are you going to Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. A little hop smell. Yeah. Not too strong, though. Mm -hmm. So I think it's missing that hop aroma in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So maybe a little more dry hopping on this. Yeah, to get the more aroma going. Yeah. Yeah, I do taste a little bit of the bitterness at the end, more than I thought I was going to. Because I thought our, our, my overall impression when we first brewed it was it needed a lot more hops. I taste a little bit here, I'd probably still like more on the higher on the IBU scale. Yeah. But um, I do taste the bitterness of it. I agree with the more hops. I think it definitely needs a little bit more body yeah, to it. Yeah, it's missing a little bit of body. Yeah. yeah. It's got a sweetness to it. It does, it does. Yeah. yeah. It makes it uh, a little more drinkable too, like that. At a six and a half percent, you know, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's not too stiff. Um, but yeah, I guess first impressions, like you were saying, Josh, uh, higher the bitterness, up the IBUs, and then secondly, uh, the aroma of it. More in the dry hopping process, maybe a little heavier on the dry hop as well. It's got like a honey taste to it. I thought the same thing a little bit. Okay. Honey wasn't used in this one, was it? No, no, but some of the grains it's probably have I think it's that sweetness that you maybe taste. Yeah, because yeah, it has two row caramel, 60 level bond, white wheat, a caramel, 10 level bond, and victory malt. So it's got a little, it a little um, variety there. Maybe this one the sweetness of the caramel that we're picking out specifically. Yeah. For a guess based on the grain bill. And like I said, Cascade. Columbus and Williamette were what we put um, for in the brew. And then for a dry hop, we did just Cascade. So I'd be curious if we tried a few of those other hops as well, up the um, amount of dry hops, as well yeah. as maybe give it a little bit bigger variety. 
a dry hop in there. We can kind of look into exactly the tasting characteristics of the hops and maybe point out, you know, maybe we're going to, you know, focus on this or that. Do you like the sweetness or do you want to? I do not like it as much. You do not? Okay. Yes. Let's see. For an IPA, maybe less sweetness and, you know, more bitterness and hoppy aroma. I would say. Okay. It would be the, the key to this one. But overall, very drinkable because it doesn't have that bitterness or that overpowering, like, hop, you know, taste that you get accustomed to with IPA. Okay. I think there is some sweetness. It doesn't bother me. I don't think it's overly sweet, but we could make it a little drier, maybe. Mid-dry. Mid yeah. yeah, if we do that and up the bitterness, do you think that might it yeah. might be fine at the level it's at in terms of sweetness? I, you the want sweetness it, really doesn't bother me too, too much. You want it, it, it is drinkable, mm -hmm. and that's what right. you want to keep. Yeah, right. You know. Especially for like a drier finish. Yeah. Maybe uh, kind of nice. Yeah. Because I think it will cut a little bit on the sweetness it's as well. It good balance. It may yeah. bring a little bit better of a balance to it. So bitterness, uh, raise that. Uh, a little bit drier. Uh, aroma. I think that's one of the big pieces that we're missing. Aroma is huge, yeah. yeah. I think that's we're probably the biggest piece. We're missing completely almost. I don't get too much hot okay. when I smell it. Uh -huh. but that's just me. Are you sure? Yeah, not much at all. I get more of, you, you know. smell a little bit on the front end. You get a little sweetness, I get a little right bit of maltiness. Yeah. 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 yeah, but it's not lingering to your point, yeah. the smell. It doesn't cold. Yeah. Right. yeah. I do think it's pretty smooth for a 6.5%. I think carbonation-wise, we're about right on. I, I wouldn't yeah. do any more. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay. It's for being a, a year old. How about color? What do you guys think about the color? Are you happy with it? I mean, it's kind of a golden reddish, kind of like they described. So I think we're, yeah. I mean... I like the color I think we're right in that ballpark. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's very clear. It turns it out. Yeah. It's, right. it's clear. Okay. It's, solid. it's not murky. Yeah. It's clear. Yeah. yeah, it has a nice clean, like if, if, if the yeast settled out real nice, I would stick with the yeast. I'd expect a little bit more flavor off of the beer based on the color. Okay. Just when I initially look at the color, it's... And too it, sweet and you want it dark? No, no, I'm, I'm looking, when I look at the beer, I don't care about the more flavor. Yeah, I'm looking at more of the hopping notes. I'm looking more okay. of the dry hopping. Okay. Yeah. okay, I got you. The, you so know, color's good. You color's good. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, carbonation's good on it. Yeah. I think we're just missing a little bit of flavor that we can add to it. And yeah, curtail a little bit of sweetness with a little bit of dryness. Just slightly. I don't think just it's so, no, I don't even think, you know, too much. Yeah. Because the sweetness says, I wouldn't even notice the sweetness. Yeah, if you don't Right, it's, yeah, it's not it. too... Yeah. It's, yeah, right, right. It's so basically more bitterness. Yeah, hops is the big takeaway yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Out of the five hop scale, <laughs> like, what are you going to... How many hops? That many? Oh. Uh, wow. Well, out of five oh, hop scale, what is your first? I would give this a 3.2. Okay. Man. Tough crowd. I know. It's, I, I think that's I, good now. I think we've got yeah. some room for improvement. I think we're yeah. going to have the right path. I think we're at least two brews before we get it perfected. I don't think we're going to probably do it the next one. Just okay. because I think we've got a little bit of changes to make. But in IPA, we've made it a few times. We know what we need to do. Uh -huh. You know, so I think we'll, we'll get there. How about you? What do you think? Out uh, of the five bean or five uh -oh. hop scale, yeah, I would say a three point four. Okay. Just because we need to dial it in as far as an IPA to make it uh, align closer to the characteristics, of more bitterness, okay. the hop aroma. Um, I like the sweetness. I think once you add those other components, but the carbonation is perfect. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be a stellar beer. Okay. That we can you know be proud to name Steve's IPA. I'm He's thinking over there in the corner. Yeah. I'm thinking probably three and a half. I like the basis of the recipe itself. Uh, kind of like we're talking about. I think our hot. I think our um, our yeast we use. I like that fla flavor. I like the grain bill itself. But I agree, it could be hoppier for sure. I think I like the color. I like the carbonation. So there are a lot of positives to mm -hmm. it. But I think um, just missing that little bit of the easier fix of adding the amount of hops. We're changing the hops, you know, based yeah. on what, what we're thinking. Um, but I think it's solid, so I think a three and a half. I'm um, actually saying 
three and a half. It's a solid drinking beer. I, I drink it as is now, mm -hmm. but a few little changes, you know, add some hops, make it a true IPA. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's good beer. Right, and I think that's based off of, because the American IPA, it said between like 50 and 60 IBU. Uh, so 40 to 60. 40 to 60, so we're in the mid range, and that's kind of how we're, when we develop the recipes, yep. we kind of go for, you know, unless we like a certain aspect, but I think definitely, um, in terms of recognition, I think up, up, the, up the bitterness. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think we're almost, I mean, 70, 80 IBU. I think we should go above the I style agree. guidelines. I yeah. agree too. I like it a little bit more hot. Because it'll, yeah. it'll, it'll be balanced out with the sweetness. So yeah. Yeah. Right. It'll yeah. bring a good taste profile to it, both on the initial taste and the lingering after taste. Yeah. Okay. And I think in the three iterations we've made, we've never had a too hoppy or hoppy enough mm -hmm. okay. for yeah. an IPA style. Because there's been a few yeah. that I've, I've, I've popped. I drank and I said, what is this? Mm -hmm. and, I didn't, yeah. and I had to go back and look at the cap and see that it was an high pH. Right, yeah, especially if you're not uh, pouring into a glass. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because you taste the little sweet notes, you taste, yeah. But that aroma right. help when we dry hop. Yes, so for that, sure. That, you know, make it more distinguishable. It make a big difference. So you'd say we've never had a beer where it's too hoppy, huh? I don't think so yet. <laughs> we found a threshold with uh, carbonation, carbonation yeah. for sure. Okay. So that's, uh, there you go. So that's uh, Steve's IPA, uh, first review of the day. Cheers.